And it is still summer after all as we wrap up July heading into August and it is going to be a hot one. 79 degrees taking you on out to DBU right now and we'll have some partly to mostly cloudy skies. Some low clouds rolling through the area. These will be thinning out though as we go through the morning. So 79 there. We're looking at temperatures in the upper 70s for Arlington at 79 along with Louisville 78. So everyone as you see upper 70s will drop another couple of degrees before those temperatures begin to heat up pretty quickly as we go through the day. So yes, we are looking at mid upper 90s, mid 90s a little farther east heading out toward Canton and Athens, but those upper 90s coming over to Dallas, Fort Worth, getting up toward Denton out over over toward Mineral Wells and Granbury factoring in that humidity today. We do have the heat advisory in effect or it goes into effect officially at noon. We're going to have that heat index 105 to 106 across the area, and that's about what we're going to be looking at too as we go through the rest of this week. Now we'll have plenty of uh, sunshine out there to heat things up that ridge of high pressure firmly in control, maybe just a few showers along the middle upper Texas coast here for today, but we are going to keep it rain free and look at the heat heading up to Oklahoma City around 98 103 or so heading out to Amarillo. So we'll have that heat advisory in effect for us areas north as you head up north of the Red River, getting into portions of Oklahoma out over the Arklatex region, a large part of Arkansas on up into Missouri, looking at the heat advisories and the excessive heat warning for a large part of a Kansas there as you get up toward Wichita. So it's not just us. It's right in the middle of the country heading into portions of the south where we do have that heat that we're going to be dealing with. So as we look at the uh, temperatures this week, we're looking at upper 90s to around 100 as we head toward Wednesday. So if we don't get there today or tomorrow, we will be there with the uh, triple digit heat for Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. And look at that heat index as well. It could exceed 105, maybe getting up to around 107 to 108 as we head into Friday. So yes, it is going to stay hot. We have the heat advisory in effect now, but it will likely get extended for a little bit later later in the week. Now we're going to be watching the tropics over the next few days as well. We do have that disturbance well out into the Atlantic, but it now has a 50% chance for some development as it moves off to the north and west. So things will maybe start to get a little more active as well as we head on into August uh, for the uh, tropics. It's been quiet so far, but that's likely going to change a little bit to later over the uh, next few weeks. All right, speaking up, here's that extended forecast for you. Those upper 90s today, triple digits. They get here by Wednesday and they're going to be sticking around right on into the upcoming weekend. Our rain chances are slim to none. Inserting a slight chance on Saturday, there will be a front that works its way in. That may be the trigger for a few isolated showers and storms as it stalls across the weekend, but really not going to cool us down at all. We're still looking at temperatures up around 101 as we get into Sunday. The following week, as we head into next Monday and Tuesday, so those upper 90s right around 100. So the hot, dry weather is here. Let's get over to station, checking on traffic.